Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Year of the Dragon Tarot forecast reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Sagittarius. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. So my intentions for this reading, Sagittarius, is to channel messages from spirit to you about the year of the dragon. What's to come? What are you going to celebrate? What do you need to look out for? And this can impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution. But whatever spirit would like to talk about shall be said. So let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card pool to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you with me now, thank you so much for joining me here. I'm going to go ahead and ask everyone to take a deep breath in, ring the sound bowl three times, and during that, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions that may be weighing heavily on your mind about the year of the dragon, and we'll see what spirit has to say. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and see what spirit has to say for you guys for the year of the dragon. And I can say that the year of the dragon for all of us collectively is a powerful year for us to tap into our power and see how we can use that to apply to whatever it is we want to make in our life. And I want to see what that specifically means for you guys. So spirit, tell me about a major theme happening for Sagittarius. Soul symbol number 27. Okay, this is a spiritual year for you guys, very profoundly. I don't know why I feel this way, but for some of you, you're rediscovering a lost part of yourself. And I wonder if this is past life energy. I wonder if this is Akashic Records energy that you guys are kind of untapping into. I feel as if some of you guys are kind of remembering something that you blocked out or that you tried to forget, but is coming to your awareness for you to finally face and to finally kind of use that energy if it was heavy and tends to transmute it into something so much more powerful. I do feel some of you guys are curious about philosophies, other religions, other means to kind of practice your spirituality. I do feel like you guys are enhancing your intuition here. Spirit is kind of making you a lot more aware of the signs and synchronicities that surround you. And I do feel these signs and synchronicities are leading you to a choice, Sagittarius, that you may be making Year of the Dragon. Some of you guys are starting to use a lot more incense, sage, um, finding new incense to kind of connect with. I, I don't know why that's coming through, but it is. Tell me more about this soul symbol here for Sagittarius. Someone could have two S's in their name, first, middle, last, initial. Tell me more. Ooh, self-sabotage. Okay. This is very real energy coming through here. Now, some of you, this is what you're witnessing in someone's life. That I feel you've tried very hard to dig them out of the hole they've made. And Sagittarius, I even feel like they have done something that betrayed your trust. Or they said something to you to keep you, you know, at bay from trying to fix them or whatever. And I feel, Sagittarius, you're looking at the truth of the situation finally, not being blinded by your feelings for them or the memories of them, but really seeing that you did all you could. And now the left is, what's left is in their hands to fix. And others of you, I feel like... With the self-sabotage energy here with the soul symbol, 
again, there is something that has been hard to face within yourself and that doesn't mean it has to come from your personality. It could have come from a memory, okay? And I think the fears of what happened in the past or the fears of failing or the fears of not being good enough has held you back from being the person you're meant to be, from making the choices that you may have felt like you missed the opportunity in, but I feel that opportunity is coming back in a new form, in a new way. As a test from spirit to see Sagittarius, if you're really ready to let go of the ego and how the ego wants to protect you from taking a chance because that's the chance that's going to give you your breakthrough. I do feel some of you guys are looking for spiritual guidance and help because I feel as if some of you guys may think you've gotten yourself in a situation, whether that's a job you don't like working for, a relationship that you have deep feelings for, but no maybe isn't the best for you that you're trying to figure out how to get out of. And spirit will be showing you the way. Spirit will be sending you help, Sagittarius, okay? So let's get you that help. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. The three major events that will be happening for you this year. Tell me about it. The Empress. Wow. Taurus energy, Libra energy. Good things are about to happen for you, Sagittarius. Things that are going to be nourishing your security, nourishing your talents, nourishing your skills. People that are just attracted to you. Your feminine energy is really alluring, mysterious, and they're very much pulled in regardless of gender or sex. We all have masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. Okay, so a lot of you, I do have to say, this self-sabotage energy is someone that you've tried to care for, tried to take care of, tried to help, but I feel like they bite the hand that's feeding them. And so now you have to redirect all that energy out back into yourself. Get back in tune with your creativity, with the things you put on the back burner for someone else. I feel spirit really wants to help you in healing your heart chakra, Sagittarius. Because I feel that's where a lot of your power lies, but it's been blocked or a little bit um, uninspired of late. Tell me more. Then we have the waiting game. So there are two twos here. Your birthday could be December 2nd, December 12th, perhaps November 20th, November 22nd, or uh, December 20th for some of my cuspers here. This is the part where the self-sabotage could kick in for those of you that you're discovering this is within you. I know Sagittarians are not great with the waiting game, right? You guys like to see immediate results. You have fire energy. You want to go out there and get it done. But there's something spirit is purposely putting on pause as a test to see if this is something you want so much you'll wait it out. If this is something that you, before diving all into it, can see every aspect of this situation, weigh the good and the bad before you get so far into it, it's pretty deep. But I gotta say, like from this fertility to the waiting game, whatever seeds you're starting to plant in the beginning of the year, it is going to grow as you are patient, as you are taking care of your dreams, goals, relationships. There's a lot in the works that spirit is going to have to do in the background, but you have to have faith, Sagittarius. Faith is a big part of this year, especially with the soul symbol. And I kind of have to say, too, that with this fertility in the waiting game, um, you have enormous talents and gifts and a specific artistic a hobby, whether that's writing, whether that's singing, dancing, you are naturally gifted at something here. And I do feel every day of the year of the dragon, you're feeling more pulled back to that hobby that you've always been interested in doing. And you may start to kind of like put your name out there, submit applications, leave your business card, leave your portfolio, uh, whatever it is. And it may take some time for everyone to review it. But there's something to come out of it. I do feel that, Sagittarius. Because it is wand energy after all. What is also happening for Sagittarius, Year of the Dragon Spirit? 
<laughs> then triumph, yeah. Chariot energy. Should you focus your energy in the right things in the right way, when you don't beat yourself up because it didn't happen automatically, you will, at the end of the year, come out triumphant. Having what you want, feeling good about what you've accomplished, being proud of what you've accomplished, Sagittarius, from the seeds you began to plant in the beginning of the year. Bottom of the deck, three of swords, yeah. This is the self-sabotage that's kind of lingering. You guys are afraid of being hurt. You're afraid of being disappointed. You're afraid of getting your hopes up. But Sagittarius, I got to say, the greats of all time and whatever it is that they were great at went through multiple failures, what we perceive to be failure. I always think, you know, easier said than done. And I get it when you're going through it. It's much harder for you to understand. But like every failure is a lesson. And that lesson either shows us a better way of doing it or that that was never meant to be for us in the first place. But I think some recent disappointment or disappointment from last year has been kind of weighing on your beautiful heart space of what you could still give, of what you can still create, of what you could still be open to. Now there's two threes here. So your birthday could be December 3rd, December 13th, November 30th for some of you. But this is a lesson in letting go of the need to put yourself down when it's not working, to lose faith in yourself or in the universe for what you're meant to co-create. Because whatever this is you are meant to co-create in this lifetime is not something of an overnight success. It is something that will take a long time to manifest, but it will last that much longer and even more Sagittarius. I can guarantee you that. So let's clarify these events to get a little bit more specific here. Tell me more about the Empress energy. Seeing someone that wants to dye their hair red, or maybe has just dyed their hair red, I don't know, like a new, a new look, I feel, for some of you guys, which could be in the beginning of the year with the Empress. Tell me more. Seven of staffs and seven of coins. Yeah, see... With the soul symbol already, Sagittarius, you're getting so many synchronicities in this reading. 777 is officially on your spread, and that means trusting yourself, good fortune, um, leading your own path, listening to your inner voice. But with the seven of coins and the seven of staffs, yeah, I do feel this is like the final push. You feel creative energy. You feel the potential of what it is you could put out there in the world. But you know it's something you have to fight for with the Seven of Wands and something you have to be patient with with the Seven of Pentacles. And maybe these are the two lessons that you're learning through this waiting game that is about to happen right after the Empress energy. About patience and about hard work. Not saying that you weren't before, but saying that just because it's not happening automatically does not mean you're failing. Tell me about the waiting game. Ten of Cups. Yeah, spirit is on your side. God is on your side. The universe is on your side. Your angels are around you. And they are making the Ten of Cups in the background as you wait. And I do feel um, with this Ten of Cups energy, family members that want to reconcile with you. And of course, it is your choice if you want to or not. But I do feel... There's something with the self-tapotage and family that has been deeply rooted in you for some time that maybe there's a family member that wants to reach out and finally hold themselves accountable or hear you out from what you've been through. And that's going to kind of heal a little bit of a family wound within some of you guys. Also, some of you guys that are adopted or, um, you know, replacing the foster care or whatever that didn't know a lot about their family history I wonder if some of you guys are looking to kind of find out more about where your family came from by your ethnicity, like taking like, you know, Ancestry 23andMe test type of thing. No, I'm not sponsored by them, just to let you know. But just kind of diving deeper into your family history and your family background and maybe even learning some of the ancestral patterns or traumas that have been circulating that are now kind of playing out in your life, Sagittarius, to break out of. 
I feel for some of you guys, you came from a long line of people that um, either didn't have great financial success or were never, never, were never given the chance to do what they always wanted to do. Whether they were confined by marriage, confined by society to have like very strict, very orthodox type of roles in their life. It wasn't who they wanted to be. But in this journey through you, Sagittarius, you're breaking that generational curse. Wow. Tell me more about the two of wands. Okay. The magician in reverse. Okay. So yes, like I've been saying, this may be as you wait and the longer you wait, you're going to go back and forth on, all right, I'm leaving this in God's hands, spirit's hands and getting a bit discouraged. Did I do the right thing? Did I mess it up? What did I do wrong? Sagittarius, again, you put so much on yourself to be the reason why things are succeeding or not. And spirit wants to kind of start healing this wounded masculine because I do feel magician energy to be masculine and to kind of just second guess yourself and second guess your choices. And that's where spirit is wanting you to reflect as you wait that not always is silence and waiting a bad thing. But when you start to kind of pile on the negativity and the judgment of yourself, that's where you're blocking yourself, Sagittarius. Tell me about the chariot at the end of the year for Sagittarius. The five of swords. Okay. And the three of cups. Nice. Okay. So Sagittarius, with triumph here, I think what you're going to witness by the end of the year is that all the criticisms, judgments, and fears around what you're able to create, what you're able to do, what you're able to manifest are going to be silent as the evidence comes out with the chariot here. Three of cups, cancer energy. There's people that want to be around you, that want to celebrate you. So some of you guys may be, you know, announcing some sort of business, some sort of project that you're doing, some sort of celebration that you're having for yourself based off what you've been able to accomplish that's coming in full circle from the empress to the waiting game to the triumph. You did it. It's like Elle Woods and Legally Blonde. We did it. You know, <laughs> that's how I'm kind of feeling for you guys here. And it has been one heck of a journey, but I think not even from what you're seeing through your relationships, through your career, but what you've been able to see within yourself when you don't give up on yourself. That is the magic in you, Sagittarius. That is the part of you that you're remembering, that you're reconnecting with, that you're becoming best friends with. Bottom of the deck, the six of coins. So this is Taurus energy. Again, a lot of the success that's coming with it is for you to level out times when you need to work, times when you need to rest, what you're going to invest in, what you need to pull back in. And you may need to sit and really go through your list of goals and see the things that you want to plan out. Okay, so this time of the year, I'm going to be focusing on this. This time of the year, I'm going to be doing that. And I think that will help you get on the right track, Sagittarius, especially if you're the kind that doesn't plan. Spirit is kind of asking you to plan at least this out, whatever this seed planting you're doing, because it's something that is going to take strategy, that's going to take dedication, and you need to be on track with it. All right, tell me what may be happening, an incident that will be occurring in Sagittarius' love life. Tell me about something that will be happening in Sagittarius' love life. The golden mirror. Ooh, okay. It says, narcissist love bombing, self-absorbed, one-sided. All right, Sagittarius. There's narcissistic energy that may be playing a part in the self-sabotage that I feel is someone linked to you romantically. They're the type that comes in and out of your life. They're very self-indulged. Like you always catch them like checking themselves out in the mirror. And it's fine to look every once in a while, but this person does it all the time, you know? Um, any mirror that they can get or window that they can see. And I feel like this person's energy is part of what's bringing you down. And they're hungry for you. And that's when they come back in your life to kind of suck up your energy, leave you dry. 
And maybe that's something Sagittarius that you're finally kind of seeing as part of the self-sabotage is by still giving this person another chance by trying to see the good in them because when they come back they love bomb they tell you how much they missed you how much they care about you it's just not the right time whatever they say and i think that's something that you finally are reflecting on and able to see the truth of the situation once and for all all right tell me about sagittarius's finances and careers Sagittarius's finance and career. Oh, yes, angelic help. I knew the angels are around you, Sagittarius. I wonder if some of you guys have like wing tattoo or like a feather tattoo or have always felt very close to your angels, even if at times you felt a little bit more alone, you never really were. There were some things that had to happen that you had to go through for your karmic healing for past life contracts, but they were always there for you. And I think you're especially about to see this angelic help in the year of the dragon but it says this is a time to trust in the universe and know you will be provided for there is a career or blessing lining up for you so stay positive and believe pay attention to the signs your angel send you during this time yeah you're definitely seeing the signs you're definitely seeing the synchronicities i mean they're all over the place in this reading so i can only imagine what's going on in your 3d world and if you feel like you're still having trouble seeing it just be open be open to what's repeating itself over and over again to the point where it's no longer a coincidence. For some of you guys, I just saw a fox. And I don't know if that's one of the symbols or something that spirit wants you to look deeper into, fox energy perhaps, to link with or to identify around you. All right. What is Sagittarius' spirit animal for Year of the Dragon this year? The sea serpent. Okay, Sagittarius, you're the first sign that has had like an ethereal um, creature animal. This is sacral chakra energy. And with the sea serpent here, yeah, it's diving deep into the shadow. Shadow work is not easy and a lot of people avoid it. A lot of people don't do it. But let me tell you, it's one of the most rewarding things you can do for yourself to identify the underbelly of what we don't like to show ourselves, of what we don't like to admit ourselves. But not just to point it out and go, you know, how bad is that? No, but to point it out and to kind of see, all right, this is a part of me. How can I integrate it? How can I uplift it? How can I evolve it? And I got to say with sea serpent energy, yeah, you're very attractive at this time, Sagittarius. And I feel people are, um, especially with the Empress at the beginning of the year, are very drawn to you. But you need to use your keen, intuitive discernment because there's some people who are in it just for themselves, especially with this golden mirror energy. But I feel a lot of you guys are tapping into your creativity, tapping into the fight and the will, reconnecting with that spiritual side of yourself to make something happen that... You've been a little bit struggling in to believe, but remind yourself of your power every day, Sagittarius. I am powerful. I am abundant. I am someone that will accomplish. Just any affirmation you can tell yourself in the morning when you wake up before you look at your phone so you can be fueled with positivity, with creativity, with hope. But the sea serpent is here. That's the uh, Uribos, if I'm not mistaken. So some of you guys may have a connection to that symbol or that story. Yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and get one more card for Sagittarius. See if there's anything else Sagittarius needs to be aware of. For the year of the dragon, a powerful year of transformation, healing, the sage. And lessons, but not bad lessons, Sagittarius. Ones that will enlighten you to a higher path. Your life is an exciting, challenging, and rewarding journey. You are here to learn from these experiences and to teach and inspire. What's happening around you is a part of your voyage. With each step, you gain wisdom and a deep understanding of your calling. Some of you guys are discovering another calling in your life or the main calling of what you're meant to do this year of the dragon and it's going to be undeniable it's going to be so apparent to you what this is Sagittarius that there will be no mistaking it 
but then the next steps are the hardest to take the first few just by putting yourself out there, just by trying. But you will not fail. I see that with the triumph card at the end. And you are supported with the angelic help around you. You can do it, Sagittarius. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this reading. I really hope that gave you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance that you're looking for in regards to what's happening year of the dragon for you. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Sagittarius, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Sagittarius.